Accepting this award will be Dr. Ahmed Fuad Sahin, the director of the organization. I would like to kindly request Deputy Chief Ward to come up and say a few words to us tonight. Assalamu alaikum. Honored guests, Mr. Chair, Mr. President, Chiefs, Deputy Chiefs, and members of Parliament, both federal, provincial, and all the other people who weren't already introduced. Uh, well, I'm happy to be here tonight. It's the sixth annual appreciation dinner. Um, I was just looking around a little earlier at the number of people that are here, and uh, I remember the first dinner that we, uh, we had in the um, Islamic Foundation building six years ago. And uh, it's been a great, uh, it's great to see how it's grown over the years and how it's become a very, very significant event. And I'd like to congratulate the Islamic Foundation, the other uh, Islamic organizations for such a, a great effort here in, in bringing us all together. But I'd like to make a special thank you to my friend Waris Malik who uh, I don't think has ever eaten at one of these meals. So I see him running around there again. He does a lot of work here. I have a check here from the uh, Toronto Police Service that we'd like to add to your fund for the uh, flood victims in Pakistan. <laughs> Chief Labarge is the recipient of many awards from at least three Governor Generals. Most recently, he was invested as an Officer of the Order of Merit by Her Excellency, our former General Gov Governor General Michel Jean. As we conclude today's event, I want to drive home two messages. And if I'm to divide the messages, one is a message for particularly the Muslim community. And one message is for the people who may not share our faith. However, they are, they are our brothers and sisters. They are our friends even though they may belong to other faiths. They are part of our community. They are part of our society and our great country that we call Canada. The word that we've seen today on the screens is social. If we look at the origins of this word, it comes from society. What is a society? It's a community. A community where every member of the society, every member of the community feels that they have an identity and a belonging to the community. A community, a society can only thrive, can only move forward if everyone in the community feels that I am part of the community. So here's my message. Firstly, for one and all, and particularly those people who don't share the faith of Islam, let it not be that we judge an entire community at the works of some individuals who try to tarnish and destroy the community. Whether it be an individual who calls to burn the Holy Quran, or whether it be a young man who has radical ideologies of violence and terrorism, let it not be that we judge an entire community based on an actions of few. And <laughs> Mm. 
My message to the Muslim brothers and sisters is that despite our challenges, despite Islamophobia, despite the negative portrayal of Islam on the media, despite the Islamophobia that exists, whether we are on airports or whether we're walking on the streets or in our neighborhoods, let us continue to contribute to the fabric of our societies. A very near and dear student of the Islamic Foundation of Toronto, this is a young man who has challenges by the legal system, he is regarded as a person with disabilities. He can't see properly, yet he's memorized every single verse of the Holy Quran. And it doesn't stop there. This person is currently in the third year in university acquiring a degree. Despite his challenges, he has the vision to contribute to society. Despite his difficulties, he has the vision to be a contributing member of the Canadian society. So I would like to call upon the stage Hafiz, which is a title given to a person who's memorized the Holy Quran, Abdul Karim Hussein. Please come to the stage. This ends the formal part of our program tonight. Before we shift our attention to dinner, I would like to take this quick opportunity to thank Brother Walish Waris Malik and the countless volunteers for all of their behind the scenes work in putting this event together. Thank you also to Mr. Wakar Ali Khan and Jason Chen of GOTV for coming all the way from the USA to cover this event tonight. Thank you also to all the other media representation. To remember Allah faithfully. Why did you sponsor the Islamic Foundation? Um, it's Alhamdulillah Rabbil I mean, we've been here in Ms. Isaga or, or, or here in, um, here in uh, GTA for about three years now. Uh, the community here, uh, Alhamdulillah, has been helping us so well. We grew to be the first and the largest group, uh, the largest Hajj and Umrah company in, uh, in Canada. So Alhamdulillah, it's a payback kind of thing. We try to, to always be a part of uh, the Islamic Foundation uh, uh, um, events uh, as a kind of thing. Thank you for all the community and all the Muslims who have been supporting us. Actually, the organization and the president are our friends for a long time. And I'm amazed really the way he has really arranged this function tonight. This is the first time I have seen that he has got that kind of strength and power, you know, which I, I never realized that he is that strong a person. Yeah, he, he pulls a lot of politicians, that's a big a thing. A lot of politicians, he, and he can pull a lot of strings too, you know. Well, definitely you can see, I mean, this event is one great thing. They're bringing the whole community together, not just the Pakistani community, not just the Muslim community, but the greater community at large. So um, they're just setting a precedent, I think, for all the mosques across Canada, across the world, just to see that, you know, it's very important to reach out to other individuals, you know, to we basically send a good message for Muslims. And that's the main thing. To remember Allah faithfully हर जगह हर पल आपका अपना सफीर पाकिस्तान नजर आता है ना दिन तो ये था भरपूर प्रोग्राम इस्लामिक फाउंडेशन ऑफ ट्रांटो मुझे उम्मीद है कि आपको पसंद आया होगा इसके साथ ही आपका मेजबान वकर अली खान आपसे जा चाहेगा अल्लाह हाफिज पाकिस्तान पाइंदाबाद